Hi guys, it's Frederick here and uh, I'm back with a new video and also a new guitar. Uh, this is a Fender Stratocaster, believe it or not. Uh, my BGA guitars are hanging behind me looking down on me with contempt. Uh, but there comes a time in every man's life where he needs to play a Stratocaster. And this was my time, so to celebrate that I'm going to use the guitar for this video I'm about to do. And I want to talk to you a little bit about arpeggios. Uh, arpeggios is something that we guitar players tend to use, sometimes overuse. Uh, I'm guilty myself on that at times. And uh, usually when we think about arpeggios, we think about playing uh, notes of a chord in consecutive order probably faster than we should. Uh, so this kind of idea in A minor, for example. That kind of idea. Uh, or you can do it with tapping as well, of course. And when you play, play them like that, it sounds cool and all, but uh, the notes are going like this kind of way. And uh, by listening to players like uh, Dave Martone and fusion players like Alan Holdsworth, Richard Hallebeck, etc., I tried to come up with an ID where the notes go like this. Instead, the intervals change like this. So I come up with seven different shapes that work over different chords and different IDs that you might have in your own songs or solos, whatnot. Uh, so I thought I'd show you a couple of ideas and you can take what you want from them and use them in your own playing. So let's have a look at the first example. All right, boys and girls, probably mostly boys. Uh, now we're nicely zoomed in on my guitar and uh, I'm going to show you the first example. And all these licks I'm going to show you I'm using the hybrid picking technique where I'm using the uh, the uh, pick and my uh, middle finger. Yes, I just gave you the finger and my ring finger as well. And uh, I'm going to show you all the examples in the key of E and then you have to move around keys yourself. Uh, and the first one is a uh, major 7. <laughs> Uh, the love chord, so this lick will be usable in all kinds of ballads and love songs and whatnot. So here it is slow, the ID. <laughs> Okay, time for the next shape. Uh, this is uh, over a dominant 7th chord. Uh, sounds like this. That kind of thing. And uh, the lick follows the same principle as the previous one. And all the following licks are built on the same basic ID. So what I'm doing basically is just changing the intervals depending on the chord. So this is the dominant 7 slow. One more time. Lick number three is over an E minor 7 chord, sounds like this. And here's the lick slow. Okay, uh, lick number four is over a minor seven flat five chord. 
and in E it sounds like this. And uh, for fingerings, I'm on the A string, uh, 7, 8, 7, 8. So basically it's a minor 7 chord with the 5th flattened down. That's the only difference. And the lick sounds like this, slow. Right, so now we're entering the grown-ups area uh, with some more altered chords and more outside sounding ideas. And uh, the first one we're going to have a look at is a diminished kind of ID. And this is also one where the intervals are very spread. So this sounds pretty crazy. So I wouldn't recommend you playing this if you have a wedding gig or you're playing in a love song or a ballad about the girl that you love. Uh, don't use this one, bud. Or wait, do it, do it. Uh, don't, don't mind what I said, use it, use it. So here it is, slow, uh, the diminished one. Okay, that sounded like yeah, Metallica's Nothing Else Matters Gone Wrong. Uh, but this is actually a minor major 7 chord. And uh, it's based off the melodic minor modes. Uh, actually the melodic minor scale to be exact. And the scale basically is a major scale but with a minor third. So you flatten down the third. Uh, where the major scale goes like this. You take the major third, uh, the G sharp, and you flatten it down to G. So. And the chord sounds like this. Uh, fingering wise it's seven nine eight eight and the lick sounds like this slow <laughs> Last but not least, we have the augmented chord. Uh, sounds like this. Uh, basically, how you build augmented chords is by putting major thirds on top of each other. Just like you do with diminished, you put minor thirds. Uh, augmented, you put uh, major thirds. So from E to G sharp, uh, G sharp to C, from C to E, and you get this kind of mystical sounding chord. Uh, so this is the lick you should use if you want to impress your neighbor uh, your girlfriend, or your mother, or your dog or cat. Uh, and this one is quite tricky to play for the left hand, so I'm gonna give it my best shot. So here it is, slow. <laughs> bit 
quicker. Uh, let's try that again. 